Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie. And I'm Linda Ritchie. Bill is an etching press maker. Together we make a video every time he finishes one of his halfwood presses. While Bill's getting ready to print, today I made this video of his presses in progress. Linda helps a lot. She runs a video camera. Sometimes she makes things like aprons for printers. And uh, today you're going to see a test of another one of the mini halfwood presses that I just finished and getting ready to ship away. Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie. It's always exciting to just uh, complete, finish a press, and then do the testing, which is what I'm going to do now. This is number uh, 71, and I'll be testing it on a little playing card size artist trading card plate. I do this for all the mini halfwood presses in the 2010 series. Before I get started, I'm going to run through the contents of the box that comes with the press. The box has the certificate of authenticity, and inside the box are the new blankets that come with the press included. A new copper plate for the user to try out, the owner's stamp, and when I'm finished with the test, I will mount the finished plate in this area, and it has a story on the back about artist trading cards. This particular press is going to somebody for a birthday and anniversary combination, and I'm just throwing in a Christmas card for fun. An Allen wrench comes with it for tightening the wheel, which is held in place by set screws. We have two set screws holding the wheel tight and the Allen wrenches to make sure that those stay tight. There's an owner's manual and the DVD. The DVD has this video on it, plus what I call the One Minute Printmaker series of six lessons. And that's what's inside the box. To get started, I'm going to plug in my hot plate, get it hot because later on I'll be warming my plate for printing. I'm using black ink. It's black Charbonnel. It comes in tubes, which is convenient. And to make things go fast, I will use a little of the Daniel, Daniel Smith Miracle Gel Reducer. It only takes a tiny, tiny bit. The wiping material is a loose, starchy cotton fabric called tarlatan. There are three stages wiping the plate the way I do it. The tarlatan first, the paper wipe second, and the hand wipe for the final touch up. And then I clean around the edges just before I print it. And for the hand wipe, I take off my glove and I put out a little talcum powder. So that the heel of my hand is nice and dry. That will take the last remaining tone of ink off the plate for the maximum amount of contrast. That's what I want. If 
finally I'll clean the edge. The copper plate is 22 gauge. It's thinner than the traditional 16 and 18 gauge copper plates because the mini half wood press doesn't require that heavy plate. In fact, heavier plates present a little more of a challenge turning it through. The half wood press, the mini half wood press has a roller that's an inch and a half in diameter. So thin plates are recommended. Plus, they're not as expensive. Finally, I'll warm the plate. but not so hot that I can't handle it. Time to load the press. I need to point out that setting the pressure is important. Notice too that I have a kind of textured plastic mat underneath. I call it a sticky mat. And that keeps the press from moving around when I'm turning the wheel. This is the little book that comes with every press that tells about its particular characteristics. When I adjust the pressure, I turn the pressure screws all the way down, clockwise, all the way down to the bed, and then I rotate them back by half turns, about 12 half turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The bed has safety stops on the bottom so that it won't fall out. Then I load the blankets. The press comes with new blankets, but I'm going to use my old test blankets so the owner really does get brand new blankets. There's a sizing catcher and a uh, pusher, pusher blanket. We don't use a forming blanket because again it's such a small rollers. Then I tighten it back down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I've been doing this for so long that I know just by the feel that that's correct. It's helpful to put to use a reference on the tiny roller rulers on each side of the press. My paper was run under cold water and then I left it in this plastic bag for about an hour. It's a little too sopping wet and I'll just blot off the surface water. I have a practice of writing down the exact moment that I made a print. This is the uh, 9th of September, or the uh, 6th of September, and the time is 15.15 using the 24-hour clock. And there's the first trial proof. Okay, that's it. Well, now I just do the usual thing, clean everything up. Aren't you going to say that was that, that it's over, that you're done? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, that's it.